physical method of pest management what do you think what is physical method the physical factor you see two type of factors are there one is biotic one is abiotic so whatever the abiotic things are there whatever the environmental factor are there we need to modify them whatever the physical factor are there we have to modify them in such a way that the pest population will be reduced yes or no so you can see the definition modification of physical factor this environmental factor yes or no present in the environment <coughs> to minimize or prevent the pest problem is called as what your physical control okay you see for every insect they require certain range yes or no it may be temperature it may be moisture it may be humidity whatever it may be okay they require some range of physical condition and if some deviation will be imposed in that particular physical condition then what will happen their population will be adversely affected negatively affected yes or no it may be uh, more than required or it may be less than required okay then what will happen the insect population may be reduced yes or no <clears throat> so now you see physical method in pest management first one is what you see we'll discuss about manipulation of temperature then humidity then air and all okay so first one is what manipulation of temperature okay as all of you know in the ipm course in the ecology we have studied about your what effect of abiotic factor like temperature on the insect sometimes what we need to do we have to reduce the temperature below 10 degree centigrade or sometimes what will happen you have to increase the temperature above 35 degree centigrade okay so first we will discuss about increasing the temperature then we will discuss about decreasing the temperature range okay so now you see the first one sun drying of the seeds to kill the egg and hidden stages of storage product like this you are doing yes or no at our rooftops what we are doing we are drying the grain we are drying the other commodities yes or no why you are doing can anyone tell why we are doing that one why you are doing to decrease the moisture yes or no if yes, you sir. decrease the moisture then what will happen whatever the disease paste may be there or whatever the insect paste may be there they will go away sometimes you might have seen in case of some sweet product if you go for sun drying then what will happen ants will repel away from that place yes or no such kind of things you can do yes or no to prevent either colonization of the paste it may be disease or insect or if they are there we can also sun dry so that they will go away yes or no next one you can see exposure of cotton seeds to sun heat in thin layer of for two to three days in thin layer you have to put those cotton seeds for two to three days in april to may high sun uh, what summer season yes or no what they will do they will kill the larva of pink bollworm this is the larva of pink bollworm they will kill those pink bollworm larva who can tell what is the scientific name of pink bollworm pectina fora gossypii yes sir and american bollworm is helicoverpar very good yes or no pink bollworm is what your pectina fora gossypii la okay then treatment of sugarcane set the planting material of sugarcane with heat energy in its either is hot water or hot air treatment you do then what will happen whatever the scale insect are there they will be killed yes or no the planting material of sugarcane is what sets yes or no two budded three budded yes or no so if you go for hot water treatment put them in hot water for several time or in hot air air treatment also you can do which may be costly hot water treatment you can easily do yes or no if you do that one then what will happen whatever the scale uh, scale insect are there it may be their neem stays other stays or it may be their egg may be there yes or no in the periphery they will be killed so that no more carryover will be there similarly you see in case of nematode okay white tip nematode for the attack they attack the pedicels so if you go for this hot water treatment for pedicels at 50 to 55 degrees centigrade okay for how much uh, uh, time for 15 minutes then what will happen your rice white tip nematodes will be killed okay it may come in the exam very very important okay how the question will come physical method for uh, rice white tip nematode what is that you have to write down 50 to 55 degree centigrade for 15 minutes okay then comment your use of flame throwers where you can use tell me against which insect you can do these things <coughs> this flame thrower where you can do can you locust ha uh, locust you can do but in which area can you do it in the normal uh, crops no 
sometimes in case of this barren field or the when the field is not in use and so many locusts are there in the open area you can use this flame throwers yes or no yes sir this is the flame thrower okay then what is this this is your what burning torch you might have seen in case of movies yes or no at that time torch was not there they were using one uh, hard stick then above that they were tying the cloth it may be much with oil or ghee whatever then they were burning that one yes or no so what you can do how you can use this uh, burning torch this very caterpillar if you toss them then what will happen some irritation will come to your hand so what you can do you can use this burning torch if you will provide that one to those hair they will die they will be burned yes or no Understood? yes sir okay now coming to your c we have discussed about use of high temperature now we will go for use of lower temperature how you see cold storage of fruits and vegetables at 1 to 2 degree centigrade for 10 to 12 days yes or no what will happen they will kill the fruit flies adult may not be there but inside the fruit fly larva will be there the larva is known as larva fruit fly is known maggots. as maggots those maggots will be killed okay again low lethal temperature cold storage of potato it will prevent or uh, kill your potato tuber moth larva understood understood or not huh first we have discussed about use of high temperature for management then the last two point we have discussed about low temperature for paste management now coming to your manipulation of moisture okay that is very very important yes or no whatever may be the thing it may be any container or any wood or any or any fruit product whatever if moisture will be more if the situation will be damp then what will happen definitely paste will come it may be disease it may be insect yes or no so what you need to do you have to reduce the moisture content okay like this alternate wetting and drying in case of rice for brown plant pepper but generally it will come under your cultural method yes or no then you see drying of seeds below 10 percent moisture level okay then what will happen and stored in cool dry place reduce the insect development what you have studied in case of the previous uh, course store green paste what you have discussed if moisture content will be reduced below 10 percent level then those store green paste cannot survive they will fail to develop what is the exception kafra beetle very good yes or no for kafra uh, beetle even under 10 percent moisture level they can survive very good huh? that is the exceptional case then coming to your manipulation of light okay how can you manipulate light for paste management you see what is the behavior of insect towards the light what do you think some are positively phototrophic some are negatively phototrophic so how can you use that one those paste which are coming towards light use the light trap and those paste which are going away from the light source what you can do switch on the light they will go away then you see in case of bear hairy caterpillar if you modify the light frequency then their mating frequency will be reduced okay in case of indian male moth if you switch on the light their fertility will be reduced or their fecundity will be reduced okay then again light can be used in case of your diposing insect suppose one insect is there what do you mean by diapods dormant period sir okay why they are undergoing diapods why the insect will undergo dormant or diapod phase due to unfavorable conditions okay that means in the unfavorable condition they will undergo diapers so that they won't die for their survival they are doing so what i am telling suppose one insect is there in short day length in winter month that will undergo diapers that means what is the reason behind that if day length will be short they cannot survive so if you modify this light that means <coughs> you will first provide them long days then what will happen they won't undergo diapods they will continue the larva stage then what will happen suddenly you will stop the light then what will happen at first you have prevented them from becoming into a diapose phase then after what happened you have removed your artificial light then what will happen they will be exposed towards the shorter length and they will die understood or not yes or no first you have prevented them yes sir 
from entering into dipodes. Then what happened? You removed that artificial light. Again, shorter length came. But now they cannot dipodes because already their first instant may have started. So they will die now. Understood or not? Hmm? Dipodes disruption in case of all dipodes insect. It may be egg, larva, pupa, adult, whatever. Okay, we have to disrupt the dipodes of the insect so that they will be exposed towards the and on uh, what unfavorable environmental condition and they will die. This use of light trap I already have told. Next one you see manipulation of air. Here what will happen? Just like human body, they also want oxygen. Suppose in a storage bin, in the closed chamber only it can be happened. In the storage bin, what you can do? You can impulse the carbon dioxide. Then what will happen? Oxygen scarcity will be there. Then the insect will die due to asphyxiation. The respiratory system will be affected. Use of abrasive dust. What is that? Can anyone tell? <coughs> this activated clay and dry dye. What they will do? Use of abrasive dust. You have to tell. You see, we have discussed everything in the last course. Tell use of abrasive dust. Why that is used? <coughs> This dry dye and china clay, what is the meaning? First coming to this activated clay, you see, these are the clay material like this, they will be activated with acid under heat. Yes or no? Then what will happen? This product will be mixed with what your store grain produce or your seeds or whatever the grain you are storing. Now what will happen? Whatever the insect are coming across through this activated clay, what will happen to them? it will be contact in nature they will contact with the insect cuticle in insect which layer of the cuticle is known as wax layer uh, sorry i told the answer huh? waterproof layer wax layer wax layer yes or no so if this activated clay which is heated and mixed with acid if that will come in contact with the wax layer or this cuticle then what will happen first they will degrade the cement layer then what will happen they will also negatively affect your wax layer if wax layer will be affected now they cannot maintain the body moisture content and they will die understood due to desiccation they will die clearly understood yes or no yes sir similarly same thing huh? dry day this this one huh? this gel material okay divided silica gel these are also what they will do they will upgrade make some corrosion over the insect cuticle and this will lead to loss of moisture resulting in death and you store grain product will uh, hurt again store produce paste store grain paste their cuticle will be degraded and moisture loss from the body will be there and the insect will die now coming to your radiant energies you see so many kind of radiant energies are there it may be visible spectrum of light or uv light infrared radio frequency x-ray gamma ray these are the natural things yes or no abiotic factor okay this can also be used for your paste management you see this first three these are what your energies of longer wavelength wavelength will be higher producing heating effect okay then X-ray gamma ray are there, they are what your energies of shorter wavelength producing chemical effect like stability will be there in the insect, those things can be brought in the insect. Okay, so now one by one we will see, you see, this radiation can be used mostly for paste of store grain inside a closed chamber so that we can collect the insect and we can expose this insect towards this particular uh, wavelength of uh, energy, yes or no? So most of above energies have not been commercially feasible on account of their high cost due to high cost they cannot be used directly but still in the storage structure where input cost can be increased there in can it can be used so here you can see this is the energies yes or no you see gamma ray x-ray then your uh, wavelength you see 253 2380 that is your uv then vib gear yes or no v i b g y o r okay then infrared microwave and radio wavelength all are there okay according to the wavelength you see yes, now you see what happens this uv they are highly attractive towards the insect so in the light trap you could not see on that day okay that was used for what uv light the color is ultraviolet that will attract more insect then violet like this it will go understood up to what up to your green they are attractive in nature 
but if you see this yellow orange red infrared this radio waves okay they are repelling towards the insect with some exception understood so what we can conclude here from this 253 to your 560 they are attractive in nature then from this 560 more than 560 yellow to this radio web, uh, wavelength okay radio frequencies they are repulsive in nature you see man's uh, human being visible spectrum is your vib gyor yes or no v i b g y o r but in case of insect you see your uv2 green effective attractive but what insect can responsive from this 253 uv2 your red huh? up to red they can visualize it may be attractive or it may be repulsive but they can responsive towards that particular color but this ir these things are they are not responsive you can use it for other things what other things we'll discuss now okay so now you see first one is radio frequency this one these two huh? rw and mv here what will happen higher frequency radio waves are there what they can do they can generate the temperature of 80 degrees centigrade in the green suppose inside a storage uh, bin some insect are there and what you will do you will expose this radio frequency towards that particular green then what will happen whatever the storage space like your granary will or any kind of uh, this floor beetle red floor beetle are there okay within 15 to 20 second of this exposure they will be killed why because their body temperature will increase above 80 degree centigrade yes or no and they will die maximum fatal temperature is 60 degree centigrade it will generate 80 degree centigrade so definitely they will die understood yes sir similarly this infrared here what will happen insect will be collected they will be exposed to this infrared then also what will happen they can be killed okay then comment to your visible and ultraviolet what i have told in this insect visible uh, range you see huh uv2 green they are attractive you can use it in light trap yor you can use it for repulsion in the storage structure or wherever you want with some exception what is the exception can anyone tell go to mechanical method what is the exception yellow sticky trap used against which insect yellow sticky trap this white fly, jasir, three, they will be attracted by what? Your yellow sticky traps. Yes, yes, sir. Sticky trap. So that is an exception or not? What, yes, sir. What I have told? Why to are they are repulsive? But now what I am telling? In case of yellow sticky trap, to trap this insect. Okay, white fly, aphid, jasir, the thrips. You can use yellow sticky trap. Understood? Yes, sir. Yellow color in particular used to repel, but here the exception and uv is for attract the nocturnal insect this visible light can be used in three ways to control the paste first one is what by producing phototaxis positive to attract in light trap negative to repel in case of storage space we can use second one is what by in inducing diapers by altering the photo period okay you see the field can be fluid lit that means in the night time also you can switch on the light to extend the day length and to prevent the onset of dipose in insect and finally perish in adverse weather what i have told if insect are undergoing dipose in winter month short day length what you can do you can go for long day behavior in the field yes or no in the uh, night time also yes. we have switched on the light what will happen now as the light is there they won't undergo dipose yes or no but what actually they should do they should undergo diapers again the temperature factor is there temperature is also unfavorable for them now what is happening as we have switched on the light they are not undergoing diapers but as the temperature is less then what will happen due to this less temperature they will be exposed towards your unfavorable condition and they will die understood yes sir you have disrupted the diapers in the insect due to which they have been killed understood yes sir. similarly here you can see by modifying the behavior exposure of apple plant to artificial light interfered with egg laying of the curling moth they used to egg, uh, lay their eggs during night time but if you switch on the light in that whole area 
then what will happen they will fail to lay their eggs but here the input cost will be very very higher you have to in, uh, what install the electricity then your light you have to switch on yes or no so many things are there which may not be practically appl uh, applicable every time understood yes sir okay now you see regarding ionizing radiation these things will again we'll discuss in case of genetical control still you see this ionizing radiation okay x-ray gamma ray okay they are what your ionizing radiation what we can do through this we can kill them directly or we can also use your sterile milk technique that means if those adults will be brought adults or people are your larva stage not larva pupa or adult stage if you bring them to the lab and you expose these x-rays gamma rays okay to uh, generally gamma rays towards these pupa or the adult then what will happen they will be sterile if these are sterile if these male populations are sterile and let uh, what release in the field then what will happen they will mate with the female will any offspring will come from that female can they lay their eggs are they fertilized no because the male are sterile yes or no due to which what will happen through generation like two three generation their population will be reduced now you can see this second point first you see sterile male compete with the normal male that means more sterile will be there few uh, normal male will be there so when they will mate with the uh, female no offspring will come out generally pupa stage is taken as for sterilization understood you see gamma irradiation for cobalt 60 isotope huh? gamma irradiation from which source cobalt 60 what happened they have used it on the cattle paste veterinary paste what is that one cattle screw worm cochleomia homnivorax okay but it is possible in case of some small isolated localities not like india like country in sri lanka or some small small island you can use this ionizing radiation technique or sterile male technique one example you please remember in Kurakao Island the paste kettle screw war was reduced by using this gamma rays which is the source of the gamma rays cobalt 60 cobalt 60 isotope who has done this technique EF Nippling for which he is known as he is known as what father of insect genetic control it may come in the exam please remember father of insect genetic control understood now you see after that we will understand please, about please. use of sound energy okay you might have seen okay at night time what we are doing we are using some machines yes or no high amplitude machines there what will happen if you switch on that one then what is happening some higher wavelength sound will come this one sound will come you might have seen this one okay this device you know, kind of things if you use that one then what will happen due to this higher frequency that may repel away have you seen have you used this one at your home have you used this one at your home practically if you see they are not that much effective but generally theoretically it is has been given that if you use those kind of things they will repel away okay understood why yes, this, these are firecracker how it can be used firecracker for this bigger paste yes or no like a, a fox jackal monkey okay if you use this firecracker or bars if you use then what will happen they will go away from that place